It's uh, 10 o'clock on June the 1st. Uh, we're getting ready to kick off here in just a little bit. And somebody who helps take care of where we got to stay uh, just pulled up. And uh, what was your name, ma'am? Well, I was glad to do it. It's What's your name? Sue Poston. Sue Poston, and you're with the church here? Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. Well, we sure appreciate it. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day, oh, doesn't it? Is. Oh, it's a beautiful place. I'm glad you all enjoyed yourself. Well, thank you, ma'am. It'll be a nice meeting. If you ever do again, just stop and see us. All right. We will. <laughs> uh, we'll do that on the, on the United States trip. We're yeah. supposed to do the East Coast, the West Coast, and then the U.S. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so... Uh, You've got big plans. Yeah, it'll be a while before we get to it, but hopefully in the next few years you'll see it. Well, it's good to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's June uh, 2nd. We're still at uh, Elk Garden United Methodist Church, and uh, this is one of the members of the congregation, and and uh, she was just showing me some really interesting stuff from New Zealand. Go ahead. Who you are? I lived in New Zealand uh, for about uh, almost two years. We came here with my husband. He was working on the dam there. Also, uh, some apartment foundations because it was specialized concrete. Yeah. We thought this was interesting. This was a, a Maori chief who was 90 years old in 1905. 90 years old. <laughs> so <laughs> he, he looked pretty that. good for 90 years yes, old. He, he was alive when they were actually fighting the British. Wow. But he has his uh, tattooed face, his jade earring, his shark's tooth earring, and all the rest of British clothes and he says I'm all the same as the white man. <laughs> and that's the good joke. That's the good joke. <laughs> and what was your name again? I'm sorry. My I... name is Irene Bowen Wendell. And you live in Rosedale or? I live just up in Rosedale. Okay it is Rosedale. Well it was very nice meeting you and we really appreciate what you all do here our the whole congregation and having this place for the bikers. But... Well uh, at the last uh, time I was in church they said we'd gotten really a good crowd this year. Yeah well, I know we passed Guys, it must have been 18 people, one of the first big groups we passed, and this is one of the places they mentioned right off. This is a couple hundred miles west of here when we passed them, you know, but they were mentioned several places, yes, and this was one of them. Tell you about the ones yeah, it's really, it's really nice. Jeff Moore, we're on the uh, Adventure Cycling Trans Am Tour, east to west. You know, and that's their we bad arm, you know, and they work on that arm for an hour, the you know, every day. And she started going, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it all goes. <laughs> It's June the second today. Birthday, so yeah. Well, yeah, so mine's the ninth. So. Uh, uh, Florence, idea. Oregon, on August 11th. You're not so, ways to go yet. Well, I'm not sure what it's like actually in the Rockies, but I can tell you what it's like coming up here. Yeah, and it, it's not very yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. For the next. Uh, 100 miles or so, it's not too much That's flat. Well, By the time you get to Berea, I think it starts starts leveling out after you're off this map. But you got some you got some good ones on the way there. So I think uh, the Virginia model is we don't do flat. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, who's your cohort here? This is my buddy Mike. You both from D.C.? Yeah, he's from Ypsilanti, Michigan. Ypsilanti, Michigan. Ypsilanti, just outside of Detroit. Yeah. We, who else? We ran into a couple people from Detroit. This is the Adventure Cycling Association. We're riding from Virginia to Oregon. Uh, we'll be ending on August 11th. We started May 21st. Uh, 4,200 and some odd miles. And uh, we just hit the 500 mile mark today. Well, gee, you're almost there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're over 10%. Yeah. I'm also uh, riding with a group, but, but I'm uh, riding uh, in honor of my son-in-law, who's got melanoma, so I'm riding for Mel Melanoma Research Foundation. Okay. Money. Is, uh, is there any particular name or anything that associated with that? Uh, or a website? I, no, I, it, no, but I, I've got a website, but it's not, <laughs> it's not set up yet. But oh, okay, I'm, okay. You know, I, if you got a blog, I'll send it to you in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that, because we tried, I, I'm about two days behind now, because we... It's yeah, been I, busy, I, but I got into a few zones where I couldn't get connected. right. You can't get it, it, it gets worse. I think so. Yeah, I'm Grace King from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm riding with a Trans America bike tour going from Yorktown to Florence, Oregon. 
That's a long way. <laughs> yes. And I'm how, a nurse. How come you chose Florence? Other people are going to Asteria or Astoria. Astoria? The tour ends in uh, Florence, and if you choose to, you can go. Well, okay, so the tour actually stops in Florence. Right, and you can and then, go north for Because we've met people that seem to be going both, and I didn't know the difference by. Uh, my name is Thank you. Uh, Philip Sousa. I'm from Arlington, Virginia, and I'm here doing the supported Trans Am trip with Adventure Cycling. Okay. Thank you. Well, it's about 11.10 local time uh, on June the 2nd. Um, Alan actually got out probably about 11, but this group uh, that you saw on the videos there was uh, just kind of kept coming in and there was a lot of interest and we spent time talking, so we must have spent at least an hour after the first person arrived before he ever left. So anyhow, it, uh, it was a good thing though. And, uh, we got a lot of awareness out to people and made a lot of good kind, you know, friends with people. So uh, it was a nice time. Well, we're just a little over one mile, and as I come around the bend, you'll see that I caught up with Alan. Isn't it different here, though, from where we've been? Pretty, and it's just completely different. I'm probably a good mile. At or more ahead of Alan, but I got stuck on the hill with some people following me. Pretty much had to go about three and a half miles to go there, gang. <laughs> it's about 11:25. We're at the intersection of 619. Uh, Alan's coming on. It's about three and a half miles into it. bump when I brake. I don't know what it is. On your bike, you mean? Yeah. I hit a rock. Well, on our way again. We have to check out and see. Maybe, hopefully he doesn't have a problem with his brake or whatever, but we'll see. Or his rim, I guess would be the worst thing. Well, it's almost 11.30 and I'll probably try to go back down and get some more pictures, but this is uh, the hill that climb it looks like one of the big spikes before we get to Hester's Gap uh, and the very beginning of it was really steep it looked like it started about 750 yards and went up almost 20 in the first couple tenths of a mile and then uh, it, it's kind of settled down a little more but, uh, we're gonna check out and see how high we go it, it looks like according to the map we go up a pretty good mountain but then we got about twice as much to come down. Well, I've been going up this uh, hill for about a little over a mile at least. Uh, I'm going to go on up to the top. I don't want to stop because the piece back there when I stopped filming last time is going around these very sharp bends and it's, it's pretty much is almost a one lane road so it's kind of a it makes for interesting riding. Uh, I met a truck coming and we pretty much had to stop and get off the road and let him go by. So uh, it's going to be a toughie, like I said, for, for Alan. But after he's passed that, I think it looks uh, like he's got a huge downhill then. Some more of the group coming up from Adventure Well, it's about 12.10. We're probably about 10 miles into the trip. And Alan's probably just about 3 tenths of a mile from the top of this hill. Uh, so, I mean, he's making good time at it. Yeah, okay. As it was, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it seemed to me it was as steep as we've come on on some of it. We're at six tenths of a mile. We started at about 750 yards. I got to figure out what that is, but it's. Uh, it was. Uh, it seemed like a long way up. It's a lot longer way up from that side. Is it? Yeah, and it's almost three and a half miles to the bottom of this hill. The big one going into Damascus. That big one. Well, it was the big one, the spike. Really. It's amazing how these counties kind of end right at the top of the hills. You know, I just see, that very yeah, I mean, when we were over in Kentucky, Pike and Floyd, remember we're up on top where, where Patty was. Anyhow, this is the crown. Uh, I actually made good time on it. Uh, I didn't keep all the statistics on this one. It kind of jumped up on me, but it was a bugger. And now he's got about three and a half miles down. Then it, then it's just kind of rolling terrain for a while. Anyhow.
about ready to get restarted. There's a drop or two of water falling, so we need to get moving. <laughs> 